What's everybody? And today we're doing a quick review on the CT Toys Black Suit Spider Man. So here's the figure, but let's take a quick look at the box first. So here is the box. You know, mine's a little bit beat up, a little bit damaged uh, because of, well, you know, I, I did buy it off AliExpress. So, of course, it was going to come with a damaged box. But as you can see on the side there, Black Suit Spider Man, a bunch of random stuff with the sticker there. Um, kind of wish they didn't put stickers on the box, but you know, it, it, it is what it is. I'm just going to blur it out when it, you know, comes down to it. But yeah, you got the Spider-Man black suit there, stuff on the bottom. really do kind of like this packaging though. It looks pretty nice. So going back to the figure, he's pretty good. I mean, for a bootleg figure, he's a pretty good bootleg figure in my opinion. And, well, let's let's just take a look at how good he is. So, basically, you know, the, the paint sculpt work is pretty good, considering it's a bootleg. I mean, most of the web lines are painted on the sculpt itself, for the most part. It's pretty clean. I love that they got the texturing down, like, pretty well. I mean, this is a pretty well-defined bootleg figure. And, I mean, that head sculpt, too, just looks really really good for it being a bootleg i mean it's kind of crazy to think that it's a bootleg which is how good it looks but as you see that sculpted spider symbol just looks really good it almost like mimics like the uh, amount of work and detail that goes into just a custom like like basically piece you'd get from someone off instagram or something for uh figure customizers like this thing is just looks really really good and you know for 20 bucks you really can't go wrong now, he does have some, you know, small issues because he is a bootleg, but for the most part, he looks really good. Like, I really like that spider symbol. That thing looks like, that thing just looks perfect. And just spinning him around here, you see that it's even, like, different on the back, too, as well. They didn't just go lazy and just only do the one symbol. They did both symbols. And especially on the second torso piece, too, they did that, the same thing. They changed the symbol up. And they just, I don't know, they made this figure really good. Now, he does have some tolerance issues, but, uh, and, you know, mine, uh, ball joint for the, uh, torso is off is because I'm actually making a, um, a, uh, custom swap over just to see if it will work. And I'll be doing that pretty, pretty, uh, soon. But, yeah, I mean, this thing looks just fantastic. I mean, all around, it just looks very clean. Uh, there is a little bit of, like, glue sections that are showing right there on the back and, of course, right there on the front. But, you know, it's a bootleg figure. You can't you can't expect to not have some sort of issues with it. But, yeah, I mean, for the most part, it doesn't look too bad. I, I love the sculpt work. The paint work is as clean as it's going to be. And, yeah, so that's about it for that. Let's go look at the articulation. So, going into the articulation... Uh, you know, it's going to be your standard stuff here. Head can look up about that far. You can go down about that far. And the head can go side to side. It is just on that double ball jointed head that figures does. My uh, torso is going to be loose, but the arms can go forward about that far on the butterfly joint. And back, not so much. But the arm can raise up about that far he does have a bicep swivel double jointed elbows and the hinge on the wrist right there in the swivel and as for the torso here the second the arm can go all the way around but you know mine's a little bit stiff and i want to break it but anyway as for the torso mine is going to pop off so i'm just going to try and hold that there but he can crunch forward about that far i'd say that's about the limit uh ooh, actually looks like my uh, joint there is actually kind of snapped a little bit well i guess i'm gonna be careful with that you know good thing i'm not using that joint for the custom but yeah you can move forward about that far and back about that far and as for the legs let me see if i can yeah, I guess the torso is not that far. But as for the legs, they go forward about that far. 
back pretty much all the way. Just be careful of that kind of butt diaper piece. The lace can do a full split. There is rotation at the thigh and double jointed knees. The foot can go up about that far, down about that far, and there is a toe joint right there. And that's pretty much it for his articulation. Um, you know, my joint broke on there, I guess, but uh, it just goes to show that be careful with your bootlegs if you do end up getting this figure. So let's get on to some of the size comparisons here. Uh, so his is going to be a little bit smaller than normal most uh, figure arts figures because he's a bootleg. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why he's smaller. Um, I guess it's just to do with like the regular scaling of figure arts. But anyway, here he is next to my figure arts Toby from No Way Home. This is pretty much just the uh, just the normal kind of Toby, the non black suit one. Uh, he's a little bit unfinished. I have to paint the rims of the lenses on this figure. But yeah, there he is next to Toby. And moving along, here he is next to my custom black suit Spider-Man Marvel Legends figure. See how they look next to each other. I do think I did a pretty good job on the Marvel Legends one with the color gradient and everything. But yeah, that's pretty much how he looks next to the... Uh, black suit toby there that i did and uh i want to try and recreate the same st uh, style for the uh figure arts one but i don't know if i will but yeah he's a pretty decent looking little guy so as for accessories he has these fists these two open hands these two twippers these two pointers and he does come with an array of web accessories so you get this one web accessory that's a pretty long web uh, this one's pretty much just for, you know, web swing, And then you do get these two little uh, kind of medium extended kind of uh, mid uh, thwips right there. And then you do get kind of smaller uh, kind of little thwips right here. And they don't look too bad. And I will show that to you here and how they work. So basically bringing back in... Toby here just kind of show you how some of these work with the long one you just kind of use the one hand there that he comes with that has this uh, hole in it which is uh, specifically for the web swing so you just kind of take the long one and on the L shaped side you just kind of stick that on in just slide it into the hand right there and there he goes holding onto the web and you can Get him into a couple, you know, web swing type of poses with this one. Uh, I'll just kind of do one quick one here right now. And yeah, that's pretty much, you know, what you can do with that web right there. And I'll bring him back in here uh, to kind of show you some of the other ones. So uh, the other ones will have rings on them. And, you know, what you do with these ones is... Basically, you just got that little hole right there, and it's just going to slide onto the peg right there. You're going to want to hold it in, though. Sometimes it'll just stay on, but I like to hold it. And then you just bring in a thwipper hand right here. Oh, that's the wrong wrong side. And then you... Okay, so here we go. Just plug it on in. Like so. He's going to come off there. But... Just plug it on in if you can. Also, the uh, bootlegs pegs are a little bit tight. I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera. So that's how they look basically on there. And he does come with these kind of grippy little hands. And that is for this accessory, which is the just kind of little mask accessory that he can use to hold. Because, you know, even though it is the black suit, it still has a removable mask. Because that's how the Sam Raimi... Uh, suit basically was so this is accurate and it's not too bad looking and bringing him back in here uh he has other accessories so we're just going to take off this head right here and we're going to plug in the other accessory that he has which is an unmasked head and he does come with two of them so we're just going to plug that on in 
like so. And as you can see, there it is. And we'll just put his torso back on since it likes to fall off. But, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. But uh, the only reason I put this on is because we have to basically take a look at the uh, at him holding the mask. But I will show the other unmasked head, too, as well. So just take that off. And then bring in this other masked head real quick. And uh, the peg didn't come off on that other one, but... So I'll just have to show it like that. And how the uh, basic little mask thing kind of works is you just kind of slide it in between the fingers like so. And you can just hold it because I did kind of forget to uh, show that there. But yeah, that's pretty much how he holds it. Now let's get back to the heads. And looking back here at the heads, let's just get a little close-up look. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, for a boo, like, that's pretty spot on. I mean, it almost does look like the actual official figure arts one. It looks pretty good, actually. And you know, it does look like Toby, and I think the coloring is, you know, pretty fair. And I think this is a pretty good boo, like, all things considered. I mean, you know, it ain't perfect, but it's not too bad. And take a look at the other head sculpt he has, which is the kind of smiling one. This thing looks great. I mean, you know, <laughs> there's some obvious, like, little goofy kind of looks to it. But, you know, for the most part, it looks pretty good. So, some final thoughts. This figure's pretty good. I mean, for $20, you really can't go wrong. Get a nice little black suit Spider-Man. Sculpting pink paintwork is pretty nice. But this is just a quick review, so stay tuned for the custom review. Uh, but, yeah, just make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.